Welcome to Nursing Prep Push Yourself in Nursing Preparation with Smart Way. The topic is Psychosocial Integrity. A patient diagnosed with depression is prescribed a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, MAOI. When teaching the patient about the medication, which statement made by the patient indicates the need for additional teaching? Option A. I don't have to limit the pepperoni on my pizza. Option B. I can still eat out at restaurants as long as I'm careful. Option C. I will miss putting soy sauce on my noodles. Option D. I'm glad I can still eat hamburgers and french fries. Right answer is. Option A. I don't have to limit the pepperoni on my pizza. The patient will need to avoid consuming foods which are high in tyramine. Processed meats such as pepperoni are high in tyramine. Combining tyramine-rich foods with a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, MAOI, can result in a hypertensive crisis. Other foods to avoid are cheese, yogurt, alcohol, fermented foods, sauerkraut, kimchi, soy sauce, and some fruits and vegetables. A newly admitted patient's medication orders include donepezil hydrochloride, Aricept. The nurse knows this medication is prescribed for Option A. Alzheimer's disease. Option B. Major depression. Option C. Bipolar disorder. Option D. Schizophrenia. Right answer is. Option A. Alzheimer's disease. Donepezil hydrochloride is prescribed for mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Cholinergic drugs, also called parasympathomimetic drugs, work by increasing the concentration of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine relays messages between brain nerve cells. In Alzheimer's, there is also destruction of nerve cells that use acetylcholine. Decreased acetylcholine levels and progressive loss of nerve cells are linked to worsening symptoms. The drug can slow the progression of the disease, but not reverse it. A nurse is caring for an elderly Vietnamese patient in the terminal stages of lung cancer. Many family members are in the room around the clock performing unusual rituals and bringing ethnic foods. Which of the following actions should the nurse take? Option A. Restrict visiting hours and ask the family to limit visitors to two at a time. Option B. Notify visitors with a sign on the door that the patient is limited to clear fluids only with no solid food allowed. Option C. If possible, keep the other bed in the room unassigned to provide privacy and comfort to the family. Option D. Contact the physician to report the unusual rituals and activities. Right answer is. Option C. If possible, keep the other bed in the room unassigned to provide privacy and comfort to the family. When a family member is dying, it is most helpful for nursing staff to provide a culturally sensitive environment to the degree possible within the hospital routine. In the Vietnamese culture, it is important that the dying be surrounded by loved ones and not left alone. Traditional rituals and foods are thought to ease the transition to the next life. When possible, allowing the family privacy for this traditional behavior is best for them and the patient. A patient diagnosed with major depressive disorder is admitted for inpatient care. Which of the following is the primary goal during the admission assessment? Option A. Establishing desired outcomes for the patient. Option B. Administering antidepressant medications. Option C. Collecting and organizing patient data. Option D. Reviewing the policies for patient conduct. Right answer is. Option C. Collecting and organizing patient data. The primary goal during the admission assessment is to collect and organize objective and subjective data so patient problems and needs can be identified. Goals and outcomes are based on patient problems that have been identified. Medication may be part of the treatment plan, but is not a primary goal. Which of the following assessment findings in a patient's health history supports a diagnosis of substance dependence? Option A. Impaired judgment and risk-taking behaviors. Option B. 
withdrawal symptoms when not using the substance. Option C. Continued tardiness and absenteeism from work. Option D. Numerous legal problems and interpersonal conflicts. Right answer is. Option B. Withdrawal symptoms when not using the substance. Substance dependence is characterized by the need to continually use the substance in order to avoid unpleasant physical symptoms of withdrawal. Physical dependence, often accompanied by an intense craving for the substance. Psychological dependence. Problems related to substance use tend to become more serious with repeated use. Answers 1, 3, and 4 are behavior related. Answer 2 demonstrates a physical finding. A patient diagnosed with delirium sees the intravenous, IV, tubing and believes it to be a snake. How should the healthcare provider document this behavior? Option A. Delusion. Option B. Hallucination. Option C. Illusion. Option D. Confusion. Right answer is. Option C. Illusion. The patient is experiencing an illusion, which is the misinterpretation of a real stimulus. A hallucination is a false sensory perception not associated with a real stimulus. A delusion is a false personal belief that is maintained in spite of evidence to the contrary. A patient who is confused would not believe the IV tubing is a snake. When assessing a patient with severe depression, which of the following would the healthcare provider identify as a cognitive alteration? Option A. Powerlessness. Option B. Low self-esteem. Option C. Anxiety. Option D. Somatic delusions. Right answer is. Option D. Somatic delusions. Patients diagnosed with depression may experience cognitive, affective, behavioral, or physiological alterations. A somatic delusion, the false belief that the patient has some physical defect or disease. For example, the patient might think he, she has an internal parasite, is a cognitive alteration associated with depression. The other choices are affective alterations. During a group therapy session, a client with heroin addiction states, I have caused my wife and kids so much pain. I am such a loser. What is the nurse's best response? Option A. They will eventually forgive you. Option B. You're going to have to earn their trust again. Option C. Drug dependence affects the whole family. Option D. Addiction is a treatable disease. Right answer is. Option D. Addiction is a treatable disease. Addiction or drug. Alcohol dependence is considered an illness that can be treated, so the nurse should offer hope. The other responses are not therapeutic, because they increase the client's guilt and doubt. A patient diagnosed with bipolar disorder is prescribed lithium carbonate, lithabid. When teaching the patient about the medication, which of these statements is a priority for the healthcare provider include? Option A. Drink lots of fluids especially if you're active during hot weather. Option B. You should avoid consuming dairy products when you are taking this medication. Option C. You should follow this low-calorie, low-sodium diet to prevent weight gain. Option D. Call our office immediately if you experience any unusual bruising or bleeding. Right answer is. Option A. Drink lots of fluids especially if you're active during hot weather. Lithium increases urine output and antagonizes the effects of antidiuretic hormone. In order to avoid dehydration, patients should be instructed to drink 10 to 12 glasses of water each day. Additional fluids will be needed during strenuous activity, in hot weather, or if the patient experiences fluid loss through vomiting or diarrhea. If sodium levels are low, the kidneys will retain lithium, which could result in toxicity. After being robbed and beaten by an unknown assailant, a patient is diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. When developing a plan of care for the patient, 
Which of these interventions will the healthcare provider plan to implement first? Option A. Assist the patient in recalling the details of the event. Option B. Teach the patient coping skills to deal with anxiety. Option C. Ensure the patient is taking medications as prescribed. Option D. Promote the establishment of a trusting relationship. Right answer is. Option D. Promote the establishment of a trusting relationship. PTSD can develop after experiencing or witnessing a life-threatening event. PTSD is characterized by intrusive thoughts, nightmares, and flashbacks of past traumatic events, causing severe anxiety. Medication therapy and teaching effective coping skills will be part of the patient's plan of care. But these will have limited effectiveness until the patient feels safe and has a trusting relationship with the healthcare provider. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.